Hello, welcome back to Linux Wednesdays where we look at Linux tips and tricks on a Wednesday. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the picture in picture effect on Caden Live. Maybe you've got a video playing and you want to put a picture on the screen, or maybe you've got a video playing and you want to put another video in the corner of the screen. How do you go about doing that in Caden Live? Well, in the project bin here, I've got a video I've imported, I've got a screenshot. And I've also got a thumbnail that I used for a previous video. So I drag the video down to the timeline. You'll see here the video will just now play as normal. If I want to add a picture, I can simply drag the picture I want, say the white thumbnail, over to the video. And I can make the thumbnail longer or bigger, or the picture bigger or smaller. So let's make it like that. Now when it plays, you'll see here that the picture is taking the whole screen up. But we want the picture to go into like the corner of the screen. So if I go on to effects and type in transform or trans, and now we're going to do transform and drag the transform effect to the picture. Now if I click on the picture, you'll see here it's it's got the size. So let's just move this over to here size now I can use a mouse wheel to go up and down to make it smaller or bigger so I'll make it smaller you see there it's making it smaller now I can then drag the picture where I want it on the screen if you don't see the board around here and the little cross just tick this box here so tick it and it comes back so maybe I want that one just there which make it a bit smaller there you go put that down to there now when the video plays, your picture will come on the screen. I wanted to add another video instead of a picture. I can delete the picture. Let's add the video on top again. And I'm going to use the transform effect again to transform the video. Click on the video and make it smaller. Put it down the corner there, smaller, and we'll make the video even smaller. So it's so now when it plays, you should see the video playing in there. Now if it goes jerky, don't worry about that because when it renders the final result, it won't be jerky. Now if I click on audio mixer, and you've got audio one, audio two. If I go to audio 2, we can then turn the music down for audio 2. Because if you've got a video playing, you don't want you might not want to hear the audio from the video. Even though it's supposed to hear, it should turn the audio down. Now if you um, want to add another, like pitch, say you want the picture and picture and the video, under video 2, if I right click and go insert track. And then go one track above video two. I can then drag the picture across. So the picture I can place there. Use the transform effect or transform effect there. Put it onto the picture. Click it. Make it smaller. And so I want to drag that one up to there. You see now we have the video and the picture playing. When it renders, it won't be jerky. Now I can make a fade by clicking on the top left hand corner. And let's do the fade as, there we go. Go on and we do about 20th of a second. And we do the same thing on here. Make it about 20th of a second. So now when it plays, it will fade in. And you can do the same thing for the other side there. Fade out. Now if you find that you can't add a video up above the video, it's because you've got no audio track. So you've got video 2, video 3. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another track. And I'm just going to go video track above three so at the moment here we've got 
video 4, video 3, video 2, video 1. And all I've got here is audio 1, audio 2. So let's try and add the video again. It won't let you add it regardless of whatever you do. Okay, so what I need to do here is right click, insert track, go audio track 1 under A2 and press OK. Let's see, let's add it now. Still won't let us add it, so we're going to add another audio track under A3. Insert track, audio track under A3, press OK. Let's move this up, and now we should, there we go, be able to add our video. So if you can't add a video, it's because there's no suitable audio track. And you've, when you right click underneath your audio or your video, if you go right click and then go insert track, you can select video track, audio track, audio video track, or audio record track. And that was how to do the picture in picture effect in Caden Live. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching Linux Wednesdays. I'll see you in the next video.